So today I have a another home sense haul for you. <laughs> I did make another trip to my home sense because I was specifically looking for a certain cat pumpkin item and I found it so it was definitely worth the trip. Of course I did pick up a few more things while I was in my home sense. Now the range of Halloween stuff in my home sense was definitely much much bigger. Last time I went it was kind of like the end of an aisle and then like a quarter of the side of an aisle but this time there was like a whole corner of the shop devoted to Halloween. Now I have seen loads of new stuff still coming out. Two of the things I got today I was on the hunt for because they were posted on the Halloween Decor UK page. I always link Halloween Facebook pages down below in case you want to like join them and follow them so you can get these updates and see all this new stuff coming in. I have to say I did buy these two or three days ago but last night some more stuff dropped in the HomeSense stores and I found a whole new load of things to go on my Halloween need list. And this morning one of you lovely people did actually help me tick off one of the things I was searching for. So to get into this haul I'm going to start off with something which I showed you last time. I did get a, another one of these countdown cushions. Now I know hundreds and hundreds of people are searching for these countdown cushions. There seems to be like a whole wave of them released into the TK Maxx and HomeSense stores and then they get gobbled up by all of us Halloween people and they disappear and then they don't stop them for ages. So when I saw a second one of these pillows I picked it up for the Midnight Crafter. I knew that she was after one and I know that she's not as close to a HomeSense as some of us are. So I did pick up another one of these countdown cushions for £16.99 in my last home sense haul which I always do link down below you can see like a full in-depth review as such of this cushion but I was really pleased to find another one now the next thing in ugh, I had to get a bag for and it is massive now <laughs> when I saw this posted at first I thought it's going to be about this big and then when I heard it was 20 quid I was like that seems quite extortionate for something that's this big until I actually kind of inquired about getting someone to post one to me and they were like no. Apparently this is £10 in weight which I completely believe by how much my bag is straining under the weight of it and it's definitely one of the bigger Halloween decorations which you can get in HomeSense. So I got this beauty. Pumpkins are one of my favourite like parts and elements of Halloween as it is anyway. I love the classic pumpkins, I love classic jack-o'-lantern faces. My other favourite thing other than bats of course is black cats because I love my black cats and more in depth are black cats with green eyes. So when I saw photos of this I just had to hunt one down. It seemed like these were only released into like the larger home sense stores and my home sense is definitely on the smaller side so I was kind of like not expecting to see him so when I walked in and there was two of them on the shelf I pretty much freaked out and grabbed him straight away before anyone else could take them so I thought it was just like such a unique looking Halloween decoration I mean I've got quite a few cats laying on pumpkins and cats sitting on pumpkins and then the other night I did actually pig mache this cat which is wearing a pumpkin. I definitely haven't seen any cats kind of like laying across the top of a pumpkin especially like with this kind of level of detail. Although the sort of main part of the pumpkin is actually hollow and as you can see there is like a white candle inside there as well which is like an LED candle. It is still really heavy and still really bulky. I think a lot of the weight as well is from the cat at the top. I wouldn't say that this is made out of a ceramic. It's more like a kind of thick resin. So I'm gonna have to point my camera down because this is way too heavy to be holding up at lens height. So the cat itself is very, very detailed. It has a very sort of unique face shape for a cat. I feel like it almost has a kitten-like face shape and at the same time it sort of reminds me of a panther as well. Though his ears are pointy, they're not like the most pointed cat ears either, which is why I think it kind of gives us this like juvenile look. But all of the fur and things are like fully moulded in there. As I said, he has gorgeous green eyes and he does have his mouth open so when you do look in there you can see that he has four little fangs and a little red tongue and this is like fully molded so you could potentially stick something in his mouth if you wanted to like a little like mouse toy or something again there's lots of like fur detail around like his paws he doesn't have any claws or anything um but you can see like where his claws are stored as such and then the front of his belly now the thing which i would look out for if you're buying these is i noticed that the paint job on these aren't always the best you'll probably notice in a minute when i show you the inside that some of the black paint is actually on the um, pumpkin itself now the one that i looked at all the black paint had like dripped down here and it made it really like unclean at the front so, so i did make sure i got one with no like excess paint around the front part especially because i felt like that's the part you're going to see the most so you can sort of see it here 
where the cat sort of joins the sort of lid of the pumpkin as such there are a few little like black splodges of paint that have just dripped down this one definitely wasn't as bad as the other one but it was just something i noticed while i was in the store so he has got this sort of arched back position it is very like a prominent arch which is absolutely fine i feel like this is probably realistically how a cat would look if it was sort of like hanging out on top of a pumpkin again they've like fully molded the fur all across the back it's realistic in the fact that its legs do bend in the right way its tail does curl around on the back so this is like the back of the pumpkin which, which you probably wouldn't really see as much but they've given it a nice like wavy tail and then over to the other side it is pretty much symmetrical again you can see down there the paint isn't the best but i felt like because this is the front you're not going to see the messy part of the paint so i wasn't too worried about that and yes he completely did remind me of my kitten gomez now the pumpkin itself although it is like mainly orange it has like some yellowy shades here to give it a little bit more depth I do really like that the um, home sense pumpkins do have like various different colors in them they're not all just the same color because I think it does give it that more realistic look he has your classic triangle eyes and nose it has a nice little toothy grin now on the inside of this pumpkin it is very rough I have a feeling this may be called fiberglass but correct me if I'm wrong but it does have a kind of like rough texture inside with lots of like hardened fibers not that you're really going to be touching the inside but the outside is completely smooth and then it does have this white candle in here i can just get my hand in this gap to get to the candle um but that is fully like rooted in there if i hold it here you may be able to see sort of the fibers inside there there's a couple which are like escaping up from the candle but it seems like they just kind of cut a hole and then shove this candle into the hole so this is what the bottom of the pumpkin looks like it does have the circular part which is the same sort of width as the candle that's inside it does have a little sticker on it saying that it's made in China and then of course you have your price tag which says £19.99 which I was happy to pay for the size of this. Definitely if I did get this posted it probably would have come to more like £30 just because of the weight of this it would have needed to come by courier. I definitely feel like it may have exceeded the limits of the Royal Mail. Now although there are screws either side it doesn't seem like you need to undo those to get into the battery thing. There is like a little pop up thing here and then there is an on and off switch. Now if I open this up you'll see that it needs three AA batteries it does not come with batteries a lot of the pieces that take smaller batteries do actually come with batteries included but these ones don't so I'm gonna go ahead run and get three batteries come back and see what this looks like once it's lit up because I haven't seen how effective this candle is yet okay so I went and got some batteries and they fit in pretty easily I'm pretty pleased with that my kitten just ran in because there is like a proper storm going on at the moment which is rather exciting I do actually really like storms so if you do hear any strange noises it's probably just the thunder now there is a little hole there if you did want to screw this down I'm going to take the batteries out after I finished filming this because I probably won't have this lit up very often and if I leave the batteries in there they're probably just going to explode so for the grand reveal drum roll please if I can find the switch, that was so anticlimactic. Okay, <laughs> here is <laughs> the light. So it is just your regular little light bulb in there. I didn't know whether or not this would be like a flickering light bulb just because it is in the shape of a flame and sometimes they do flicker, but this is just a regular light. It's not like a flickering one. I feel like it does light up the pumpkin quite nicely. It's quite a strong light. It definitely kind of hurts my eyes if I look at it for too long. So that's really good, but that's probably what I'd expect for three batteries worth of power going into that. I definitely feel like this would look really nice like outside your house on Halloween. It definitely would light up the facial features of the pumpkin, but I'm really not sure how well it would help in lighting up the little kitten. I definitely feel like it's probably on the slightly higher price range just because of this like candle inside so it's nice to know that it is a good strong light bulb that they have in there. <laughs> Thank you for the batteries Mr Kitten. So the last thing which I got from HomeSense I was actually looking for when I went to HomeSense. I was kind of hoping that I'd come across a couple of them because I was looking for one for myself and one for my friend. Now I'd seen photos of these in TJ Maxx in America so I was hoping potentially that it would come to England. Now I'd looked around the whole of my Halloween section, I couldn't see one. I kind of just thought, bleh, they're obviously just in America. And then I happened, like I don't know why I felt like I needed to. But I went to the reduced section of HomeSense where they put all like the broken stuff and the things which I guess they just cannot sell so they reduced down 
and that is where I found these. So I call these the three dancing Sanderson sisters and they're so cute. So the reason that this was in the reduced section with these lovely little red stickers is because this one is slightly broken. There is meant to be a little broom stick top to this stick. Now when I saw this I was looking at it like where is it broken? I was like looking around their hats. There was a few bits of like fluff attached to the hat so I was like is that like is that what's wrong with them? Like I just could not work it out. Um, and I was like looking at it like all their shoes are in pristine condition, they have all their arms and their hands and I honestly thought this was just like a walking stick. I didn't realise that there was meant to be little like broom tassels on the top of it. So this was originally £13. I paid £10 for this and the reason I was happy to still pay this price is because I figured first off I couldn't even work out what was wrong in the first place but also I thought I could either stick like a tiny little pumpkin on the top of here or I can use some polymer clay and like fashion a new head to the stick or even just kind of round it off and make it look like a walking stick. I didn't really feel like it was going to take away from the piece too much. Now I've been talking to a few people about these and it seems like every single one of these that they find in shops have something wrong with them. A lot of them are missing their heads, some of them are missing their arms and their shoes. Um, I've seen a couple that are also missing the tops of brooms, some of them that are missing their hats. So I feel like with this particular piece, HomeSense and TK Maxx really haven't packaged them very well and it just seems like they are constantly getting broken. I was pretty pleased to find one that's in like this condition as such. I really don't think it kind of ruins the piece whereas obviously like if a head was missing it would be quite obviously broken. So I'll start with the hats. This one's wearing a blue hat with a little gold buckle. It's kind of on a bit of a wonk and it's nice and twisty. Now this one has like the classic pointy witch's hat with a little blue rim and again a gold buckle. This hat as well it does also have a very thin layer of glitter. In that though when I'm touching it I am getting quite a lot of glitter on my hands. Again another black glitter hat although this one is more twisty and this one has a orange rim with with a gold buckle. Now onto the witches themselves. The first two are kind of like dancing forward. I kind of imagine that they're sort of doing like the conga or something. Um, and then this last witch is kind of facing outwards. So they have a very kind of vintage witch face. Um, they're all very kind of happy witches. Now, as I said before, I don't like witches that are depicted as too ugly, but although these ones have very like pointy chins and noses, I still think that they're relatively pretty witches. I don't think that they are like too harsh looking. They're not covered in warts or anything. They all have nice rosy cheeks, slightly blue eyes. There's a little bit of like red around their mouths and they do actually have tiny little eyebrows. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see those, but there is like a lot of detail within the faces of these witches. And then they all have very similar hair. It's kind of like a very sort of gray white combination. So onto their dresses, I'd say probably the front one's my favorite dress. It's just a plain black dress. It has little white rims around the ends of the sleeve and she's wearing a little blue apron that matches her hat. She has blue and white stripy tights and the most gorgeous witchy boots I've ever seen. Then the middle one is wearing this complete orange dress with a white petticoat underneath and there is lots of like texture on the dress to kind of give it like a ruffled look. She's wearing white tights with her lovely black boots. And then last off there is the witch on the end who's wearing this kind of blue teal dress. She has a lovely like black bow around her waist and then also like a corseted front with a little white Peter Pan collar. Um, her dress is kind of swishing off to the side while she's dancing and she is wearing orange and white striped tights with her little witchy boots. Now the witch at the front is holding a little pumpkin. Um, there are also pumpkins there at the back on the floor and another one behind this witch as well. Although I don't feel like you'd see that too well when that's on display because these pumpkins are kind of situated at the back of the piece. Right at the end it does have this stick which obviously the broomstick would be on um, but I'm yet to decide how I'm going to modify that and kind of finish off this piece. Now these witches are all kind of on this grey slab. The difference with the ones in America as well is that all of the witches are wearing black and I do really really like that look but then at the same time I do like this variation as well. If I was to come across the fully black version, I probably will get the fully black version. Although saying that, I was talking to my friend Will, who did suggest I could actually just paint these all black if I wanted to, but I'm yet to decide. I still quite like this colour combination. But for £10, I was quite pleased with that, and I'm sure I can find a home for these lovely dancing witches. What I would love to do is to get like a whole collection of these so it looked like they were doing a really long dance. Um, but I really like that. It was definitely a unique piece, which I hadn't come across before.
in like other years. That my home sense bag is empty. So that was my third home sense haul of 2017 and I've got another one coming up in a few days probably. Um, so I am really, really pleased with the things I got. I am so excited by home sets at the moment. They're still bringing out loads of new stuff and it's really crazy to think that they are still sort of the first sort of shops which are bringing out their Halloween decorations. We've still got Asda, we've still got Sainsbury's. I know Wilco have just started bringing them out. There's still loads more Halloween ranges to come out. So thank you so much for watching. I did also want to mention that I do post regularly on my Instagram and also my Facebook page which are kind of but like up-to-date posts as to what I'm finding in shops regarding Halloween decorations and I'm also posting pictures of what my shop looks like so if you do see anything in my shop that you can't find in your shop I will go to my home center and buy it for you and send it to you if it is your last resort so thank you so much for watching please check out all the links down in the description i hope you're feeling super spooky in september if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye